Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Alright, we're still in the Tomb of Wraithwall, and I'm gonna try this gem again, now that I've actually beaten the second wall. Also, it turns out you had to defeat both walls in order to get to the Secret Passage. And all it does is create some pathways that we saw earlier. That we initially thought were dead ends. Well, guess we can take advantage of it right now, shall we? So let's see what's in it for us just to make this happen. That we had to go through a pretty tough demon wall just to get over here. I'm pretty sure you had to defeat both walls in order to make this happen. We're technically not even on a map. Like, we're just outside the boundaries. That's weird. Okay, let's see what's in here. This better be really good stuff. Uh oh. Ooh, a Taurus gem! That's pretty cool. You don't usually get those often. So yeah, we're pretty much out of bounds. And we just keep going lower and lower. What the? There's a new enemy. A Tallow. I'm gonna switch on my party. So instead of Balthier, I'm gonna put Ash. There. She will definitely take care of those Talos a lot faster. Hey! Level up. And damn, it only really costs her 2 MP to use. I guess because of the buffs we have on her, that she's able to regenerate eight, regenerate MP from either doing damage or even doing a kill. So it's gonna add up to, you know, make its spells pretty damn cheap. Well, I was gonna pick that up, thanks, uh, you stupid slime. Scathe Moat? I think Scathe is like non-elemental damage. I'm not entirely sure. Deals massive damage to all foes in range. Sounds like that would be like a late game spell. Oh my god, how many more of these things are there? And why the hell is it green liquid? These guys are not even green. I am finding it very concerning that we're still walking, and I don't think she has recovered 1 MP from walking. But this is very weird. Okay, there we go. That's, that's gonna work. So at least those two pathways... They go to the same area, rather than... You have to go a long way through one, and then go a long way through the other. Yeah, it seems like they loop. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Hang on, is that the other door here? Oh, it is the other door! Oh, good! So they are connected around this side, too. It's not like it really matters what one you take, because it's not like one area is harder than the other. Man, I feel really disappointed that I didn't really get some good treasures in the Southern Passage. If I had just taken that Diamond Armlet off sooner, I could have gotten some really good loot. In fact, I missed out on a ton of loot in the Sand Sea just by having that on. So there might be some areas where the armlet is very useful for getting good stuff. 
But until you get to that part of the game, we're just gonna keep it off. Again, unless we run into something that does, like, serious lightning damage to us. Alright, so let's go to the Northern Passage. Get out of here, you. you. Go to hell. Go to hell and you die. <laughs> I wonder if in, in the Evil East universe, what do they consider hell? Makes you wonder. <laughs> I like how there is this here that's out of bounds, as if we couldn't just climb over that. It's like, no, you guys aren't that nimble enough. Like, you can cast magic and equip all kinds of weapons and conjure so much mist energy to do like un like unstoppable combos but climbing a ledge that's just below your shoulders no can't do it it's impossible can I get this please ah dispel that's pretty cool. Cool to have. Hang on. Is Dispel considered white magic or black magic? Dispel is white magic. Okay. Pinello does not have the license for Dispel. Can I give her the license for it now? She got 168 points. Let me go look for it. Should be around here, I think. Where the hell is the white magic to? That's the green magic. Oh, there's the white magic. Oh, Dispel is only white magic 5. All right, we're good then. I can get Resplendence. But where else would Resplendence be? Right there. And that gets us nothing. There we go. And it straight up disappears. Okay, then. That works for me. At least if you respec, if you're not satisfied with it, you can always just, like, take off that license and try again. So that's a good thing, that you're not stuck. Do I want anything for Balthier? I did want to go over here and I can get all this. Although he's not going to be using magic much. I'll just get you Charm. And then Remedy Lore 1. Did I not have Remedy Lore 1? Horology. And get you Remedy Lore 2. Yeah, I guess you only had 3. That's weird. I'll spend the rest of the point. I'll spend the rest of the points later. So wait a minute, that means Pinello's the only one with three quickenings now. I mean, you can't be surprised that I'm investing a fair amount in her considering she's my white mage. Seventy gil. Okay. Wait, what if I leave and re-enter? Will that same chest respawn? I guess I can go for the other chest. Wait, will that other chest even be there? It had to spell last time. No. Okay, so some, like that chest is not respawnable. Fair enough. 
Maybe in my spare time I should have just gone to the Southern Passage too to see what I could have gotten. But I was like, yeah, I might risk getting too powerful. So I'll just hold off on that to maybe try again in my own time. Besides, we can still get some loot over here. What the hell is this? Zombie mage? Oh god, and they can get like foul flesh. Hey, maybe we should start hitting this damn thing? Oh, these guys are weak against water. That's why Ash was using Aqua there. Huh. I didn't think of them as weak against water because they look just look like burps. I mean, it is an excuse to use magic. It's not like it's expensive for her anyway. So why not take advantage of it? Hello. Are you lost, zombie? I guess zombies are not weak against fire considering their rotten flesh. So they're probably just weak against holy. Yeah, they're weak against holy. I guess I could heal them too. Uh oh, poisoned. Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? <laughs> Do I have ally poisoned? Okay, I do. Guess I can just use Poisona. And I'll put it there next to Blind. Hmm. The slots are filling up. Thank you. I feel much better already. It's like I went to the doctor. Without having to pay money for a TV. Like, that's the beautiful thing about living in Canada, because most of my expenses from, like, having an appendectomy was just, like, for renting the TV each night. Like, that's crazy. I mean, thankfully, I survived it, but still. Okay, the Northfall Pedestal. Alright, so bring on the liches. Oh, they're coming too. Oh no, those are zombies. Well, zombie mages to be specific. Hey, level up. What the hell is cloying breath? It hasn't done anything, so I guess we got lucky. Okay, I guess we still need to go north. I know we could teleport out, but no. We're not gonna do that. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't, don't. Thank you. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Cura Moat. Cool. We shall keep going, then. Treasure has been pretty scant here, unfortunately. And I don't really feel like just, like, constantly going back and forth through the same rooms just to get loot that otherwise could help me while I'm recording. But I know you guys don't want to see that. That would not make much sense to keep things going. Maybe if we get to a top fight, I might take off the Cure Gambit and just leave the Cura one on. Because that could serve us much better, like, long term. Damn! Totally wrecked it with the Aqua spell. 
The Aqua Spell is really just playing Dr. Jones over and over. Which is a good banger, but you don't want to hear it over and over. Maybe Ash is the real Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Ooh, a Kill and Weave shirt! Wait! Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, we inflicted sap. Did we always have Kill and Weave shirts? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, it's Mystic Armor. And we got much better anyway. Why did my phone vibrate like that? Oh, okay, that was just a private message. I don't need to pay attention to that. Potion! 76 gil. 17 gil. It just felt like a downward spiral, now did it? I don't have 99 potions, so there's that. Let's do a little bit of patching up. I honestly feel good about just like taking the long roundabout way to get to places. It gets us to see more of the level. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you got nothing for me? You probably just without a shirt. Or flesh. Get some flesh strips. From the makers of chicken strips, there's flesh strips! But I guess chicken strips are flesh strips. And whatever else is in there. It probably would have been like actual flesh strips if you made them at home. Flame Staff? Ooh, I bet Ash can wear, use that right now. It has no element? What? How does it have no element? It's a Flame Staff. That's what it's literally called. Well, it's a better weapon than what she had on, but still, that that don't make sense. That's like a piggy bank not having any pigs in it. Why are you lying to me, game? Like, good lord, I feel betrayed. I guess it's a good thing that it's not fire attribute, because that would probably make fighting these enemies tougher. Uh oh. I was once I once was blind, but now I see. Thank you, Pinello. I knew you were putting in work, as you always do. I will say this, out of like the six characters in the game, Pinello was probably like my uh, least preferred one in terms of character. Like seems pretty forgettable to me, and yet somehow is one of my more useful characters based on being a white mage. Like she's just the glue that holds us together. And like out of those six characters, the ones I prefer most, character-wise, there's Balthier, then Bosch, and then Ash, then Fran, and Vaughn, and finally Pinello. Like Vaughn is a main character, or at least like the character you're introduced to. Not as memorable compared to other pro tags. But I did read, or at least hear on somebody else's stream, that they wanted to go in the direction of having a young character to be a main star. But then, like all the Final Fantasies, I already had young characters that were, like, main guys. 
Like, Bards was definitely young. Like, probably not as young as Vaughn, but still. Then in the end, like, uh, in terms of the plot, Vaughn kind of, like, doesn't really stand out as much. Okay, okay, we, we, we got a bit of an infestation here. We might want to take care of that. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, 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 you're still here. I thought we got rid of you, too. Okay, so now that we have both uh, altars activated, or both gems, we should be able to get to the last part of this dungeon. Should. I don't know if we exactly will. Um... Nice of you guys to catch up! What was the holdup? And why did I not bother to, like, cancel out stealing? Do I have a gambit that say, like, if Bo has no item? Because I would definitely put that on top of steel. No. I don't know if a gambit like that exists. Because we currently do not have it. I just went the wrong way. Oh, wait a minute. I know where we're supposed to go. Wait, is this the way we need to go? This just takes us back. Well, I guess I can just save. Because we already got both gems taken care of. But I think there was something else we needed to do to get over to the main part. So what the hell did I just overlook? Go back to the southern one again. But I don't think that's necessary. And thank God we got the waystones. Yeah, look. What around here do I need to activate? I guess I'll just go back to the green one. I'm gonna check it out. So I guess we don't get to the main chamber from here. This had an altar that went down midway. Oh my god, we could have gone here. I must have missed this when I was on the northern part, didn't I? This is a whole other chamber. Underground? Not fog. Mist. You can see the mist with your eyes? Where it is thick enough, you may. The nether runs deep in this place. So, is the mist dangerous? Yes, but it is also an aid. A dense mist allows the working of powerful magics. I'll keep that in mind. Can't count on Vaughn to keep track of these things. That's for sure. Oh, 
All right, so let's just check out what's over here. Now that we are in the Cloister of Flame. So I guess we have to make it to the middle. That should not be a problem, provided there aren't too many threats. Also, I just saw like a reflection of myself running over there. That must be the effects of the mist doing that. Seems kind of quiet over here. That way it probably just takes back to the northern passage. We don't need to do that. I'm guessing there's no treasure here at all? Nothing? There's another set of stairs. I guess we can take that. Okay, there's treasure here. Blood sword? Ooh. I'm gonna check out this blood sword. Oh, you need a license just for blood sword. It's weaker than the sword I or the chopper I have right now. But it inflicts sap. I don't think any of us have the license for blood sword. It's not a ninja sword. I'm guessing only knights would have this? Because they can use swords more reliably. Well, let me just get some shield licenses. Increased chances of block with a shield. I don't know why I never tried for that. That can neutralize some physical damage. Now what can you get now that you have so many points? I guess I can go for Heaven's Wrath. There we go. Some Remedy Lore. Gambit Slot. And I guess that's gonna be it. I can give you Battle Lore too. Yeah, there, there's nothing here. Uh, is there a treasure chest on this side? Yes, there is. Tough to Phoenix down. I mean, it's not as valuable as a blood sword, but sure. Oh! That's why there's nothing here, because it's focused on this. Oh, no fanfare, it's just straight into the fight. Oh, it's called a Belias. Or what do you have on you? I want to steal. An Ares gem. Okay, it's readying Saber. Uh, can that be dispelled? I'm gonna see if it can be dispelled. Or better yet, Vossler can just go and use Wither. Okay, still casting magic, so we gotta watch out. Greater Barrier! Oh god, it's got Shell and Protect on! This can be removed. Faraja? Oh, you can tell it's a special move if you're seeing this. Alright, how bad is this gonna be? Oh god, it's pretty bad that it uses oil as well. Do I have many handkerchiefs? 
I'm 19. Here, start cleaning yourselves off. Otherwise, this is gonna get real dire real fast. We may not even need to use our quickenings in this fight. In fact, we might not even need to wash off the rest of the oil. Got it! ourselves some neat power now. The Esper Belias the Gygus. In vain glory they arose, shouting challenges at the gods, but prevail they did not. Their doom it was to walk the mist until time's end. A legend of the Nemo. My family tells a story of the Dynast King and an Esper. The story goes that in his youth, the Dynast King defeated a mighty Gigas, for which or the Gigas, gods took okay. heed of him. Thereafter, it was ever bound to him in thraldom. So, all this time it's been here guarding the Dynast King's treasure? Not so. The Esper is the Dynast King's treasure. That's your treasure? In this Esper we now command rests a power whose worth is beyond any measure. Is that so? Call me old-fashioned, but I was hoping for a treasure whose worth we could measure. We could measure it. It's probably around 20 feet tall. <laughs> Alright, the Esper... The license for the Esper Belias has been added to the board. Only one character, however, can obtain this license. When a character obtains the license, it will be removed from the boards of all other characters. The second board license has been added to the license board. Characters who have earned the second board license can access an additional license board. Holy crap, so we can now have two jobs on one character. Bond does not have enough for that. So yeah, you have to be very picky as to who gets Belias. Alright, well, Balthier, you're gonna get a new one. So what do we want with Machinist? We can go with Ulan, Red Battle Mage, Knight, Monk, Time Battle Mage, Foe Breaker, and pretty much any other job we already have. I'm thinking, like, maybe a red battle mage would be a nice fit for Balthier. So give him, like, some magic. Machinus already gives you, like, good magical buffs. So I'm thinking if we go with a bit of arcane with white and black magic, I think that'll serve him well. And like always, we can change our minds later. So because of this, you have to press X to toggle your boards. And whatever we've already gotten as Machinist will also apply here. So we can start wearing Mystic Armor too. So there you go. Does he already have, like, a white magic? At least level 1 white magic? I don't know if he does. I guess it wouldn't hurt to give him Fox and Poisona. Oh, and you can use time magic, so Reflect and Disable is now on the table. We can get you green magic. Oh, arcane magic would be good. I should have went with that first. 
And Fran, you're gonna get a second license board. Time Battle Mage would be pretty interesting. You can start using time magic, and we can finally let you use crossbows. So there we go. As for Bosch, what am I going to give you? I don't haven't decided who I'm going to give Belias to yet. And right now I'm in no rush. I think it would make sense to make you a knight. Now I don't have to use like every single license board for every character. It just would be fun that way. And Pinello, you got enough, so I'm going to give you your second license board. I think I'm going to also make you a time battle mage. There we go. That'll give you a lot more versatility. And I'm thinking for Ash, once she gets enough points, I'm going to make her an Ulan. That can let her use spears. Let's go get that Dawn Shard. Pinello, why do you still still smell like Exxon? Come on now. I have a little bit of dignity. That's not gonna work, is it? By this, return ye to the Hall of the Destroyer. By other means, return ye back to this place. What's wrong? Your Majesty. We must go. What? will be avenged. Oh, now we got the Dawn Shard. So what I find very strange is that Vaughn was able to see Lord Rassler as well. I just wonder what kind of connection there is going to be with that. I think it's time for us to go.
And it just leads back to where we were. All right, let's get a move on. We're done here. Now that we have proof of Ash's royal lineage, we should be able to make things happen. Oh, we're not allowed to teleport. Oh gee, I wonder if something's about to happen. Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your Majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethersite. The Nethersite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of a dynast king. They affected Nethersite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethersite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasca will be restored. Think on it. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. Sounds like vassalage to me. when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your Majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Ravanasta soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. Thing, how the hell does this keep happening? We just keep going on new Imperial ships every time. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars has the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? A son of Dalmasca. <gasps> Our 
equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. <sighs> Such heat! The mist is burning! 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto nethersite! The Count still climbs! Ah, uh, we found it at last. True de facto nethersite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. <laughs> Blood alone does not an Emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong! What is it? You stand. Hold her down. What's wrong with her? I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> Why do this, Bash? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Oh, great. Now we gotta fight our good friend. He was such a good pro for us, and not anymore. You gotta have something good on you, Bosler. A potion. We should really just get rid of all these jerks first. I think I'd rather use arrow because that'll hit all of them. Oh, oh wait, this is bad. Fossler's got reflect on, which I think could still be dispelled. There we go. And now he's just gonna cast Reflect again. Well, that'll force him to give up a turn. So I guess we got some going for us. Now what else do you have, Manello? Nothing special. Okay, he's just gonna keep using Reflect. Again, we're just forcing him to waste turns. Is there, a, like, a... not a license. Is there a Gambit for, like, if foe status equals Reflect? Nope, we don't have anything for Reflect. We'd have to cast it manually. That's unfortunate. Why does this sound like horror music now? Well, at least he's not putting up much of a fight, because every time he's unreflected, he's gonna re-reflect. And because of that, he's just wasting his own time that he could have been using to attack us. Got him! You just whack him with a staff. Didn't even need to use quickening. Engine power falling rapidly. Each negative, impossible. Engine room, this is the bridge. Report. Report. What are they doing down there? What's happened? Disengage it at once. I want that number three. Let me out. 
Ash, let's go. All I have done, I've ever thought of Delmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. Okay, I'll do it. But I don't get to look you in the eye anymore. Ah, oh, God. Is this like this with every opening cutscene? The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanasta. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. Obviously, we're not going to deal with their fleet anytime soon. Even if they just lost one. It's like, what about our Ninth Fleet? Our Twelfth Fleet? Our Sixty-Ninth Fleet? <laughs> Why does this feel like a mix of Ratchet and Clank and the Jetsons now? Like all these floating cars and sprawling highways, big ass skyscrapers. The Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The stroke our beards. That's what the we loss do. of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Azaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. 
Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lancer will make for a fine emperor. Lance also adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <coughs> <coughs> You may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades. Alright, next time we meet up at the Senate, we're giving you like a plexiglass barrier. I must go now. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of old Nabradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethersite. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethersite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard? Most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufact Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite, I hope, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died. And the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. 
You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation. How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. And the other one. I'll give it back to you as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I, uh, you know. <sighs> I want to fly. <laughs> Can I just have wings? The Gareth are said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. Yeah, speaking of which, we should go do some shopping. Um, where exactly is the uh, vendor that I normally use? Oh, over here. I suppose I probably ranked up by now, did I? The drain spell is now available. Okay, I should get that. We got a whole bunch of earth stones and some bat wings. Some dark stones, we got a lot of those. Some solid stones. Glass jewels. A Taurus gem. Some green liquids. Foul flesh. And the Ares gem that we got from Belias. We can get an Iron Forge Blade. Just an Iron Sword. A Light Spear. Which is a Javelin. And I guess now we can get Drain. So it's a level 2 green magic. Okay. Oh, right, right. You, you only just tell me about the bazaar. I thought you had your own goods. My bad. Welcome to the Moogling! Also, I realize this video has been going on pretty long. However, I think what I want to do is actually just report my uh, quest progress. Remember that Wyvern Lord has been long dead. And I would very much like to get the reward for it now. While I still got time. So this will give us like a little bit of setup. So remember correctly, I think we had to go to the weapon shop for this. Isn't that where our petitioner was? Yeah, it was! It was an Imperial soldier. Cheryl? 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 Cher? This guy! Slain the Wyver Wyvern Lord, have you? You done Rabbit Aster a great service, boy! If you'd set out, I thought I might have been overreacting just a touch after all. But there's not to be gained from doubting now, is there? You've done a man's job. Here's your bounty. Take it with my thanks. Ooh, an elfin bow and a shell shield. Plus a thousand gil. 
I'll try to maintain my equipment later. Now, before we end the episode, there's a couple places I like to go. First of all, I like to go to the pub and see what new marks are available. Picture there's quite a couple now, because it has been so long. Oh my god, there's way more than I thought there would be! Okay, there's two rank twos, a rank three, and two rank fives! Oh my lord, let's start with a crocodile. Sadin in Giza the Reigns. I lost a ring and I must have it back. I wait on Giza Plains. Come during the rains. Well, it's raining now, so I guess we're good. Okay, that's over at their village. Uh, the Enchilados. The petitioner is Sugumu at Jahara, land of the Garif. There's a creature on Osmond Plain. Kill it! This is how one summons a hunter, is it not? Good, I'll be waiting. Okay, it's somewhere we haven't even been to yet. Luckily, we're already on the way there. The Ringworm. Balzac. <laughs> what a great name. In Rabin Aster. I have to make frequent trips through the Western Sand. Last time I met more than my match. Need a hunter to clear the way. Okay. Okay, I gotta go to Low Town. Alright, the Merolith. Okay, the Tavern Master himself. A friend wishes to make an exceptional toast, so I want to send him an exceptional serpent wine. You get to slay the exceptional serpent. <coughs> okay, luckily I'm already right where the petitioner is. And then last but not least, the White Moose. Sorbet. Huh. They clearly had some fun with this. I'm in something of a fix. A monster is made off with an item of great importance to me. I seek the aid of a hunter to win it back. Kupo! Okay, and that's in the western part of Ravenaster. Alright, last but not least, I want to check if there's anything new at the Clan Centurio headquarters. And then after that, I think we should be able to call it an episode. I think this is going to be the longest video of this Let's Play so far. That's why I'm liking only doing one video a day now, because I can just get away with making hour-long videos. So that it's not like, oh, I just finally finished this video, and in five minutes the next one goes up, and that one could also be an hour. Like, I think it's only mo much more fair to you guys. You're a vanguard already? You've been burning the midnight oil? Goodball! Three eye potions and two teleport stones. Heard you defeated a demon wall. Impressive, Kupo. The Society of Antiquaries send you this with their compliments. Presented in gratitude for the laying open of new avenues of research into the past. Ooh, 1200 gil and a nugget of Electrum. Heard you defeated another demon wall. Impressive, Kupo. The Society of Antiquaries send you this with their compliments. Presented in gratitude for discoveries providing new insights into the times of King Wraithwall. 600 gil and a warp moat. So you now command an Esper! Impressive, Kupo! Urex sends you this with his compliments. An epic tale and bark I now to write. Of you whose deeds give voice to Silent Muse. Two Arcana and two Teleport Stones. Oh, there is a new mark! The Gill Snapper, rank 3. Okay, this is a Nano from Giza the Reigns. A degenerate tortoise that once menaced Giza Plains has returned, and it may be my fault. Please, I need your help. You'll sign on to the hunt? Excellent! I'm counting on you, Kupo! Remember, I'm just an intermediary. You'll have to speak blah 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 blah. And, of course, that's in that part of Giza Plains. Yeah, yeah, I know about how elite marks work. Going to ask about the Gill Snapper, are you? You got some driving, you boy! 
I can learn a thing or two from you. Been sitting on my tail so long it's like to sprout roots. Maybe it's time I went on a hunt myself. Hmm, I'm gonna talk to him before I leave. Oh, he, he just says the same thing. Well, that was a waste of time. Speaking of time, I know you guys are, might be stretched for time watching this, so I think this would be a good opportunity to end it here. And in the next part, what I'm actually going to do, instead of continuing on with the game... Also, while I got the license points, I should actually just get some new boards right now. So I wonder exactly what I'm going to get for Vaughn. What do I want to make you? I think I will make you... I'm going to make you a machinist. Or... Should we also go with Red... Or Red Battle Mage? Nothing will go with Red Battle Mage. I think that can make things fun. And for Ash... Last but not least, I will give you your second license board. And I'm going to make you an Ulan. So yeah, we're not even using Foe Breaker or Monk. But of course we can still change our mind. So what I'm gonna do, instead of like, uh, continuing on here, why don't we try out Trial Mode? I think that'll be fun, because that's what I've been using to try to build up, you know, license points and the like. So this would be a good opportunity to take advantage of that now that we're, well, a little bit stronger. So let me just go over to a save point, which I believe is one right here. Because in order to use trial mode, you have to reload a save file. And I want to at least have one save ready to go. Ah, oh, it's a shame we don't have you anymore, Bossler. Alright, next episode, we'll try out trial mode. See everyone, thanks for watching.